and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Pula back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again. Today, I'm going over what to expect and how to prepare for the Team MVP promo. Now, I've not done, I've not went over how to prepare or done a separate video just on this. Now, guys, if you guys are wondering the Team MVP promo, I'll go over all that in depth, but when did it come out? So last year, it approximately out on February 15, 2019. As you guys know, today is February 12th, which means it could be coming out any day now. Now, they usually like to drop things on Fridays, so today is Wednesday, so it could be dropped on the 14th, which is two days from now, right in time for that Ultimate Legends the next day again. Now, that is when it did drop last year. Now, Team MVPs are an all-around promo. They incorporate a little bit of everything that you'd expect. It's not a typical seasonal promo. It is more like a Legend-type promo, but it incorporates way more. So, what to expect? Team MVPs typically are an MVP from each team, offensively and defensively. They're usually one of each. So, you can expect, let's just give you an example, right? Let's say the New York Giants. Team MVP on offense. Maybe Evan Ingram. They won't use, or maybe they even give it to Saquon. They didn't give it to Saquon last year, but that's also because he got a rookie, uh, rookie of the year card. So, let's say Team MVP. They give it to Saquon offensively so it's a 97 Saquon now they do the defensive MVP the Giants defense sucked I don't even know who they'd give it to but let's just say someone deserved it there you go now Cowboys maybe quarterback gets Dak Prescott and defensively it's Jalen Smith or Byron Jones that's kind of how they rock it so it's gonna be two and two but now the way they usually do this is they bracket it now I'll get into the rest of this before we get into this video guys make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on bell boys come join the family Get the 20k as quickly as possible. We're super close. Comment down below what you guys think of the Team MVP promo and what you're doing to prepare for it. And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 250 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, what I was saying was, so like I said, I'm going to go over and show it to you guys in just a second so you guys can have a good idea. But Team MVP is pretty much themed diamonds in my, it's like, it's like themed diamonds, offensively and defensively for modern day players. Now, the beauty of, the beauty of Team MVPs is that it helps out every theme team in the game. It tremendously increases every theme team. It helps out regular players. It, it, it makes market movement. It helps out the Madden economy. And it usually, like it last year, comes with a house horse for a free player, a free Nat, some other free things in there. But last year, there was some pretty good cards. I'm gonna kick you guys up to Mudhead. You guys probably seen it already, but I'm gonna show you guys again. Take you over, show you guys just a few players. Briefly go through it real quick so you guys can have an idea. All right, so you guys see here, Devontae Adams, Darius Slay, Leonard Williams. I'm gonna go fast this because I've shown this a few times on my channel. Calais Campbell, Nate Soldier, uh, DeForest Buckner. Last year it was uh, Nate Soldier for the Giants, but that's not going to happen again. Sometimes some of them are good. Some of them aren't great. Like, obviously, David Johnson too slow. Mike Evans was way too slow. But some of them are great. Like, Travis Kelsey was really good for his time. Jalen Smith was amazing. We're going to get, we got a Julio Jones, a Sean Watson. They're usually 97s, by the way. Khalil Mack. Some of them are awesome. Now, remember, typically, we know, we're not all rich in Madden, right? We can usually only afford to pick up one, two, three players max from a new promo. So, if they're, if, you know, if... 64 players drop they don't have to be great only like two or three of them do because realistically we can't afford all of them and there is a coinciding promo with this especially in a second but guys these are pretty awesome and we're gonna get them from every team so if you're a fan of any team expect your theme team to be built and it's not just these players there's a lot more players to get dropped but there should be 30 20 side of the football and there will be sets to create these players there'll be store packs there'll be a whole bunch of stuff now this was super cool last year i remember i picked up i mean i didn't pick up many i picked up alcohol not alcohol but tree. i picked up i picked up Khalil Mack and i might have picked up uh i forgot who the other guy was maybe xavier howard was he well xavier howard was super solid this time but it was definitely a really fun promo and guys this is a bracket promo which means that they're not going to drop 64 cards in one day they'll drop like four offense four defense day one that's eight cards in a week they'll drop like four more four more another week they'll drop four more eventually i think it ended up capping out near middle of march so about a month so maybe they don't do eight well they do eight and eight no probably a little more than eight per week maybe like eight every few days but that's typically what they do now. There's a coinciding promo with this called the Team Builders. Now, these are the ones you use to build up and actually acquire these Team MVPs. Now, the Team Builders, although, aren't exactly as useful in terms of, like, God Squads. They are great. Oh, I hate when it does that. They are great for theme teams as well as uh, just filler cards and chems and stuff. So, these cards are the, the low. These are the set pieces for them. But these cards are great because, think about it. If there's two on off, one on offense, one on defense, and they introduce you to all of these Team Builders, 22 pages of theme builders you're gonna get a lot of players for your theme team will fill out. it's gonna te technically it's gonna fill out a lot of holes in your theme team so don't don't be worried now let's head back over to the man screen and go over how to prepare and the last other things i've talked wraps up that portion you guys saw the players team builders super cool like i said let's say you have a giant's theme team right they don't have a good little linebacker they don't have a good left guard they don't have a good uh, wide receiver 
typically they use team builders to fill in those holes as well as give you a bunch of good players for a theme team it's usually super cool they usually do it very well i don't have a theme team but i think this year i was talking about some series ideas with someone and I'm talking about like maybe a cowboys or giants kind of thing so if you guys are following um i might end up making a giants theme team at some point or maybe just a bunch of theme build uh, theme builder squad builders would at some point anyways but moving on guys how should you be prepared for this promo remember this is this is a promo that's gonna require a decent amount of coins because team builders, they typically went for, I believe last year, like anywhere between 200K. It's like, they're gonna be like, theme, think of it. Theme builders are just like ultimate, uh, ultimate legends. The worst ones are gonna be like 250, 240. The best ones are gonna be like 380. Like Khalil Mack gonna be around 400K. If there's another Khalil Mack. Now, the best way to prepare, like I said, if you guys watch our market video today, if you guys haven't already, I talk a little bit in there about the market right now and how its current state is. If you take advantage of all that and you go over all that, you will realize that for the most part, you can make some decent coins right now and you want to be saving some coins for this promo because there's going to be a few amount of players you want but there should be a house rules as well so don't exactly sweat it if you don't have enough coins for a player you might be able to get a free one now i don't remember last year if it was random or you have to pick I hope you have to pick because it'd be kind of annoying if it was random 30 64 cards you're definitely bound to get someone you might not want you can re-roll it of course with the store pack but it's also half the training back so i don't know how worthwhile it's going to be now last year so there's going to be exchanges right there's going to be exchange sets more than likely you might be able to take advantage of that with some binder players but with the market being up right now right since the market is crazy up i personally recommend you start cleaning your binder a little bit right now just to get those coin the coins up a little bit as well as remember you have a 97 overall power pass i i think i i think i binder cleaned already to get my uh all my cards that i did get so i probably don't have much to sell but you guys probably do remember you have a 97 power pass which can be used for any ultimate legend that you're gonna want it can be used for a team uh a team mvp as well as a combine promo player so you maybe can hold it for now if you don't want to uh, waste it on anyone yet. But remember, the theme diamonds aren't usually too expensive. Theme diamonds, team builders, team MVPs, they're not usually too expensive, but the best ones will be. But again, we probably get a nat one. Maybe they give us solos this year. I don't remember if we got solos last year. Maybe they, oh, I think they did, team builder solos. Maybe we get some theme builder solos, which can give us like a high set piece, which then we can make some. Bring cost down a little bit, as well as training. Training was really cheap the other day. And you can use training as a source of getting some of these players. Now, I don't know what it'll be. Let's see what a full one would be. So, let's see what it is for. Is it there an Ultimate Legend one here? Okay, so a Team of the Year one, a player. Let's see a non-Team of the Year net. So, 39K for a 96 overall plus. So, it'll probably be like 45K for a 97 if there was a Team MVP one. So, I mean, I got the I got it for a pretty cheap 270. So, I mean, you could make a pretty decent return on those. Theoretically, if you got it for that cheap, it really just depends. And beyond that, guys, may, I think it's time to start making some space in your team. That's what I like to do around this time of the year. So... For starters, you guys know what I'm talking about. I always go over this. Making space in your team means getting rid of some old weights. So for me, old weights like a Bruce Matthews, old weights like a Lane Johnson and a Travis Frederick. I gotta get rid of them. Now, Frederick's powered up, so I don't really gotta touch him. But Bruce Matthews, these are guys that like you don't need on your team anymore. They're not end game to start getting rid of them. And also, that doesn't just apply to lower end guys. That applies to guys that are higher overalls that like you really don't need. Now, my offense recently heavily upgraded, so they're not gonna be touched. On my defense, though. Some guys that I could, I could start probably moving some weight on is probably Mel Blunt, probably Michael Strahan. Although I really love Strahan. I really have no reason to move him yet. I'm kind of waiting for an Ultimate Legend to cover him with. And Von Miller, that's some old weight. But I, I've had issues moving them all year. But a good example for you guys would be right. Let's say you have Team of the Year Luke Keekly. And you have a God Squad, Team of the Year Luke Keekly. You have him empowered up though. His speed's kind of low. And you know he's not an end game card, but like you like him right now. So you say to yourself, all right, am I going to be using this Luke Keekly in a few weeks? Probably not. Is he really that usable right now? Probably not. I'm not going to power him up. Maybe I sell him now for 270 and then you make your profit back on him and then you save that coins because this is the issue people do, right? Every new card that comes out is here, no matter what. Like if you had sold, if you had sold 90 basically Patrick Mahomes in September and you saved all those coins to so now, you could have traded the 280k for 90 Patrick Mahomes right now for an ultimate legend full 97. You see like eight different overalls, seven different overall difference, but same price. So you have to remember that. Let's say you bought Luke Keekly's 270. Ultimate Legend middle linebackers come out. Luke Keekly, 180, 200, new middle linebacker. Now you just lost 90K in that difference. If you sell him now while you know he's not going to be worth it, you can just trade, you can exchange, you can keep exchanging up. That's what I always used to do. I always had God Squads when I was younger, so I used to just exchange up. Never lost value. Now this year is harder, I get that, because all the power ups and stuff, a lot harder to do so because you lose a lot of coins, taking things off, you already powered them up. But I'm saying if you have dead weight, don't just don't start take, going willy nilly like I'm just going to start selling Sean Taylor. Like, no, don't do that. Just take off some dead weight. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope this gave you guys some insight on just purely the team MVP promo. Some what you guys should be doing right before it. Kind of what to expect. Hopefully this comes out Friday, which would be the 14th. It did come out the 15th last year. 
I went back and checked it and the combine should be following about 10 days mm, 15 13 to 15 days from now hopefully but we'll see with everything team mvps is like they can go hand in hand because the team mvp promo is just players being dropped but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the noni bell boys come join the family give the video a big thumbs up if you made it this far no to gang let me know down below in the comments and always like the video and yeah let's get to 20k guys thank you so much for watching i'm out check out the rest of the videos for the day peace